I do believe that you know the the way we make things is important, the logic behind it, the poetry behind it, the language, but also the physicality of it. I am trying to come up with construction logic for the work. How is it going to be a body and an organic formation, but also potentially give some element or some aspect of, of an architectural experience with the body? The welding process is the longest part because it's almost like drawing. It's like weld and then if it's not working, cut and grind and bend again and weld again. For me, the skeleton is one of those stages where my, my thought is that the more complex the skeleton is, even though it's covered, it will somehow survive the layers that covers it even if you don't know the weight of the, of the work itself, I think your body understands that it's a massive material, it's heavy, it's tall, but looks like it could fall at any moment. All of the works are standing on, on the boulders and sort of like clawing them with their feet. It's a detail that I was borrowing from medieval tombs. It's almost like a giant standing like a ballerina. Like other aspects of the work, it's, it's formal, but for me it's also like a, a poetic moment that's seen between the rock and the feet. In a way, holding is a bit like instinct to grab onto the familiar, and it sort of suggests like that the falling over could be a way to think about construction. And also the, the material itself, you know, sand, on one hand, it's this like mythic matter that we are told to be made of or created of. It has, I think, in it this history of shape shifting and, and playfulness of creativity. It's this porous material, you know, it moves with the with the wind, but it's also an agent of erosion and the product of erosion. It's what covers civilizations when they're long gone. It's sort of this reminder of our Hebrews and, you know, of time and, and ephemerality and mortality. I guess losing face is a way to think about what happens when we stop to, to make sense of the world. Normally we understand it as a detrimental idiom. And I'm thinking about it here as a, almost a, like a constructivist idea of letting go or of being willing to step into an ambiguous space, a space where your perception of the world, where the familiar ways of seeing things and sensing things is suspended. So in that sense, losing face is almost trying to suggest, can we try to lose our, our eyes, lose our mouth, lose our ears, lose our nose? As a construction logic, it has that, that tenderness in it. I'm still under the same limitations and the same larger structures in society and economy. And so I'm, I'm aware of not always being able to transgress those bigger structures, but I think at least in the works, I allow myself to imagine that that's possible. <laughs>